Is it just me or does anyone else have a bad feeling about this fight for Alexander Volkanovsky? I look at this one. Like, Yair Rodriguez is a tough matchup for anybody, but especially a guy like Alexander Volkanovsky. But I will say, this man looks like he could really be one of the greatest of all time, if not, he's already the featherweight goat to me. But if he gets that decision over Islam Makachev, we might be looking at a, a, another goat, like a, a real, real goat in Alexander Volkanovsky. But he didn't. Now he's got to come back to 145. And I look at this fight with Yair, and it's like, this is the perfect time for a letdown spot. I look at this one. He had the close fight with Islam. I know he wants to get that one back. A lot of people think he got robbed. And then you're getting a killer, an unorthodox fighter in Yair Rodriguez. Volkanovski's still coming in as a big favorite, minus 460 favorite against Yair Rodriguez. But Yair Rodriguez presents a lot of difficulties for Alexander Volkanovski. I'm not saying he can't figure them out, but... If you're not prepared for that, that's going to cause some problems. And that can take a while to get acclimated to during the fight. You look at his fight against uh, Max Holloway, Yair Rodriguez versus Max Holloway. Yair Rodriguez is a plus 500 underdog. So he didn't have much of a chance as far as the betting odds would entail against Max Holloway. But that was a pretty close fight. That was a pretty close fight. You look at that one, 48-47 on two of the judges' scorecards. So they gave two of the rounds to Yair Rodriguez. And honestly, I mean, he was in it the whole time. Like, the finish was live, but we're going against Max Holloway, who's never been finished. And Volkanovski, he got finished a long time ago. Could pretty much throw that one out. I mean, he's he's as durable as they come. Um, But just the... The problems on the feet as far as the kicks, the knees, the unpredictable un- unpredictability of Yair Rodriguez. Of course, the hands, the submission ability off his back, the the transitions on the ground. There's going to be a lot of problems that Yair, Yair Rodriguez could throw at Alexander Volkanovsky. And uh, if Volk is, has any type of mentality as like, I got this one, I got to get the Islam back fight back and I gotta I gotta just get past this one and I'll I'll go back to trying to to fight Islam at 155 to get double champ status. If he's not honed into this fight, Yair Rodriguez could come out on top because the activity on the feet is definitely there. Lands over four significant strikes. Volkanovsky pretty good defensively. Um but I don't I just don't think he's seen the type of attack that Yair, Yair is going to be able to throw at him. And not, there's, there's not really many people that can, you know, replicate that in, in training or in, in any kind of fight. Yair is a very special type of fighter. And if Volk ain't ready, I got a bad feeling about this one, man. Like, you're going... Volk's been so dominant at 145 for so long. And he, he's had three wins over Max Holloway. And it, it just looks like he's got Max Holloway's number at this point. Okay, and then you look at his other wins uh, within the division for Volkanovski. Uh, Chan Sung Jung, Korean Zombie, should have been retired after that one. Um, And he really should not be coming back to fight Max, but that's a whole different story. Brian Ortega. uh, Brian Ortega, he got pieced up on the feet. He got extremely pieced up on the feet and just historically, Ortega is willing to just take take shots. Like, you look at his fight against Max Holloway, he gets hit 290 times. Uh, the movement is the, the real thing that I, I'm worried about for Volk, is the movement of Yair. He's so good at moving laterally, moving in and out, using his kicks, chopping at the legs. He land, he was chopping up Max Holloway's legs. You look at the, the stats in the Yair Rodriguez versus Max Holloway fight. Yair... Landed a total of 159 significant strikes. 57 of those were to the legs. So if you're looking to stop the the inside attack from Volkanovski, 
Keep him at range. Chop those legs. Uh, because Volk has some very good entries. His entries, for being how short he is, he does have a good good reach. He's thing is like 71-inch reach. Um, so, I mean, it's about the same as Yair, but Yair is a little bit taller. You got to you gotta be able to stop his entries because he's so good at switching stances while still being accurate with his hands and being powerful with his hands. So if you're able to chop those legs as he's coming in to get him to uh, kind of kind of be a little bit more hesitant with his movement, if he can start doing that, which he has shown he's done it in the past, could be a real problem. Um, but not a lot of people giving Yair Rodriguez a chance to win this fight. Obviously, the odds would say that as well, being a pretty sizable underdog. But I look at this one like, I feel like it could be a letdown spot for Alexander Volkanovsky. I love the guy. I'm not saying he's going to lose by any means because on paper, he is just as dominant as they come when it comes to 145. And I think if he rematches Islam, I think he's, he's going to go in there and, and could potentially pull it off as again uh, if, he, if he were to rematch Islam. But in this one against Yair, he's got to come with everything – that he has. He has to be fully prepared. If he has any type of outside outside uh, noise pointing him towards the 155 belt again, he needs to block that out because he's got a very tough test in Yair Rodriguez. And if he's not prepared for it, it could be a letdown spot. And it would ruin a lot of plans for Volkanovski and what the 145-pound division would like to do um, because you got other guys like Taporia coming up and... Uh, I mean, maybe it would be it would be better for the UFC if he does lose, uh, considering they have so many guys that that need to that could fight for the title but just couldn't get past Max or couldn't uh, or just can't even beat Volk. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how it works out. I'll be there in person, but I got I just got a feeling, man. I got a feeling that it could be a lot tougher of a fight for Volk than people are are putting it out to be. So. We will see, but if you enjoyed the video, drop a like to support the, the video and drop a subscription to support the channel in general. Other than that, hey, Jive Picks on all the medias. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.